Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this make look here. Now this is a look that is seriously pushing me out of a few of my comfort zones. I never ever put black uh, black mascara on my bottom lashes and I never put any kind of eyeliner in the bottom lash line. So it's kind of pushing me out of my little tiny comfort zone when it comes to the lower lashes. But hopefully you guys appreciate it and like this look. It's very like Christmassy. Um, honestly, it's very Christmassy. It's very festive, but it's also really sultry and sexy and it's beautiful with the red lip. I was going to do a nude lip, but I just thought at the last minute that a red lip really would look amazing with it. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's glittery. It's red lips. I just love how it turned out and I love the whole look all together. So if you guys want to see how I do this look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, first starting off with primer. Now I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. At the moment I'm just using a sample of this just to test it out before I buy it. It's actually a really nice primer. It's quite pricey though, but I'm definitely considering buying it. It's really nice and hydrating and I find because it is a water-based, it will really mix with any foundation that I put over top of it. So just using a stippling brush, I'm just going to buff that into the skin. So as for foundation, I'm going to go in with something a little bit more full coverage. So I'm using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation and this just gives a really beautiful flawless finish to the skin. So I'm just going to blend that out with some kind of synthetic brush. You can use whichever one you like best. Then for concealer, again going for something with a little bit more coverage. So I'm using the Collection Concealer in the color medium. This is a beautiful concealer. Unfortunately, it is only available, um, I believe, in the UK or anywhere that sells Superdrug um, or boots and it is one of my favorites unfortunately now to set the under eyes I'm going to use the Laura Mercier the translucent setting powder now I typically don't like to bake on myself because I do tend to crease quite a lot so I'm just going to really push that into the skin quite well without baking but it just sets the under eyes really really well I can also set my whole face with this but I want to use a different powder today this one is actually my favorite it's from Benefit and it's the Hello Flawless powder in the color champagne it is a beautiful powder it gives a I would say about a medium coverage, but I just like to apply that with a duo fiber brush just so I don't get, I guess, too much powder on and it doesn't look too powdery. But of course, I will be setting my face, so that will also help with the powderiness as well. But just to lightly dust it over the face, I'm just using that same stippling brush just to put it on. Now, for my contour today, I'm using the Tarte Tardis Pro Glow Palette. I'm just taking the powder contour in that, and I'm basically just going to put this all around the perimeters of the face. So just along the cheekbones, on the forehead, temple, and blending it upwards. I also want to do it down at the sides of my nose today as well, which I don't typically do. So this is definitely an unusual step for me, but I actually don't mind it. It gives a little bit more of a bronzy glow. So just brushing that down the, um, down the sides of the nose and blending it downwards. Now, as for my highlight today, just using that same palette, I'm just going to be mixing two of the colors there. And guys, look at this highlight honestly it just gives me life i cannot deal with how beautiful it is so i'm going to pop that straight onto the cheekbones on the temples i'm also going to do it down the bridge of the nose and also on the cupid's bow as per usual and honestly i didn't even wet this highlight it is just amazing it's so metallic it's gorgeous now this blush is actually a new one from essence it's from the glitter and the air blush and it's a beautiful really light pastel kind of pink color there's not too much glitter to it at all it's just a really nice sheen but I'm just going to put that on my apples of my cheeks and blend it backwards so I'm going straight onto the eyes. I'm using the Tarte Tartist Pro Palette and I'm just taking this really nice warm tone um, brown color. It's quite a light color, so I'm gonna use this as my transition. I'm just gonna pop that straight into the crease and this is just gonna make sure that all the other eyeshadows that I use after this are just going to blend really nice and easy. And then going in with my favorite color in the palette, this is called Whimsy and it's a really beautiful dark burnt orange color. This is going into the socket and we're gonna start building up that crease to make it really nice and dark with this this is just a really nice transition color. Then going in with Edgy, this is a really nice chocolatey brown color. It's quite deep, so I'm gonna pop that right onto the outer corner and I'm also gonna blend that just into the actual socket line again. This is just, again, another shade that we're gonna be using just to slowly build up that color and that depth. Then going in with just a clean blending brush, always have one of these handy. I'm just going to blend on the edges. And then we're going in with the darker shade in the palette, which is called Punk. Now this, I'm just going to repeat that step 
it, just not going to do it as intense. This is just basically to add a little bit more intensity, um, but just blending as I go as well so there are no harsh lines. I am going to bring one more palette into the mix today. This is the Zoeva Warm Spectrum and I'm taking the orange eyeshadow which is my favourite from the range and this is just going to warm it up just that little bit more. I feel like it wasn't warm enough and the browns kind of muted it down a little bit so I'm just going to add that to the crease just to add a little bit more of a warmth and I'm just taking the colour punk which was that darkest colour in the tart palette and I'm just going to really closely put this to the lash line and then blend it out with Whimsy which was that dark burnt orange shade again from the Tarte palette and I'm really going to smoke this out onto the lower lash line just to give it that nice smoky effect. Then going back into the Zoeva palette I'm just taking this frosty white colour. You can take whatever colour you like though and I'm going to pop this straight into the inner corner and also onto the brow bone just to give a little bit more light to the look because it is quite dark. Now from that Tartist Pro palette I'm just going to take this colour Ethereal and this is a beautiful gold metallic colour. I'm just going to take that and I'm almost going going to use it as like a cut crease I suppose but not as precise this is just a base color for the glitter that we'll be using so just packing that straight onto the lid and this is even this isn't even wet at all this is a dry eyeshadow and you can see how metallic it is now I'm um, for the glue I do actually have glitter glue but I couldn't find it so I'm just using eyelash glue I'm just putting it onto the eyelid and tapping it until it's nice and tacky now for the glitter I'm using MAC glitter in the color gold this is a beautiful glitter I'm just going to pack it on with that same brush that I used for the ethereal color but you can use your finger if that helps um, also I'm just going to tidy up that darkest color on the outer corner just to make it a little bit more defined I'm just going to use a nice pointed brush for that and for eyeliner today you can use whatever you like that you prefer when it comes to glitter it is a little bit more difficult to go over glitter with eyeliner but I use this one from Marc Jacobs because it's a really nice wet formula but it is a felt tip so it's a little bit easier and then I'm just going over a, a um, just over the the Marc Jacobs liner with the Krylon. This is the black eyeliner as well, just to make sure that it's nice and black and opaque. Now to tight line, I'm just going to be using the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the color blacker. You know, every time I do this, I absolutely hate looking myself doing this, but I'm going to tight line my top and bottom waterline. So unusual. I never tight line my waterline on the bottom. Now we are seem to be using a lot of Marc Jacobs products today, but this is their um, mascara in the Velvet Noir. This is beautiful. It's a really nice volumizing mascara and I'm just going to put that on the top and bottom lashes just to add a little bit more of a drama effect. So weird. I never put them on the, on the bottom lashes. It's so odd, but I actually kind of like it. So for lashes today, I'm using these ones from Tarte and they're in the style Girl Boss. These are gorgeous. They're really, really wispy and really full and fluttery. They're amazing. So I'm just going to pop those straight on and I'm just going to cover the lash band with that Marc Jacobs liner. So as for lips, I'm then going to be going in with the Burberry. This is the liquid lipstick in the color 37. This is such a gorgeous shade. I cannot get enough of this. If you like an orange red and you like a really nice soft matte finish liquid lipstick, these are honestly incredible. They're very comfortable to where you can see how pigmented they are. They are just incredible. And to set the rest of the face, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Finish Spray. I'm just going to be spritzing my face so the powders definitely settle and it lasts a little bit longer. But that, guys, is it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.